Well, it took a few extra weeks past the deadline, but the state budget is now all officially done, approved by the legislature. Done deal voting going very late mm -hmm. last night. Lawmakers back home for a few days, including State Senator John Mannion, and he joins us now in the studio. And thanks so much for stopping by. Thank you for having me on again, Christine and Jeff. As a former teacher, got to ask you, how would you grade this budget? Well, as a former teacher, I would say, uh, you know, if we're taking off points for uh, handing in the late. work late, yeah, uh, okay. that grade's not too good. But yeah. this was, you know, the budget is a big process. There's good and bad in every budget. You know, it's hard to really give a grade to it. As a former teacher, though, I will say uh, I give the education part of this budget an A. Oh, a for good, education. Good. Yeah, That's good. great. Uh, how about bail reform? You know, that was a big sticking point. And one of the big issues was, you know, are judges going to be more given more discretion when it comes to setting bail? They are. And, uh, you know, there's great consensus out there. Certainly our office has heard about it uh, before and after I took office that this is what people are demanding. So, uh, you know, the, the changes that happened to bail initially uh, occurred before I was in office, mm -hmm. and this is the third time since I've been in office that we have made substantial changes to this. Judges do have more discretion. It's absolutely uh, necessary. Again, we people get frustrated. Uh, we are talking about pretrial detention, mm -hmm. but uh, when they hear stories about reoffenders, mm -hmm. that's where uh, they have a right to be upset. Um, also in the budget, I mean, lots in there, obviously, but um, hundreds of millions of dollars um, to prep the site for Micron, the White Pine uh, Business Park up in Clay. Um, important that we see that kind of commitment coming from the state. We've heard a lot of talk about it, but they're putting the money where the mouth is. Oh, of course. This is a high priority for the governor. We have to remember that this is the biggest, biggest private investment in the history of New York State, and it's coming to central New York. And it didn't happen by accident. Mm -hmm. You know, parties from all over, the federal government, the county, the state legislature, uh, center state CEO, mm -hmm. others that were locally engaged made sure that this happened. So the, the dollars are there to support this project and in infrastructure. Also, I'm very proud to carry uh, one item myself that's a budget line item, $1.75 million for uh, an apprenticeship program mm -hmm. through MACNE, which many yeah. of our uh, folks may know. And that's just one piece of it. So there's a lot of work to be done and we need the dollars there to support it. All right, we're actually starting to see it all coming come to shape. Got to ask you this, it wasn't in the budget, but this is a huge issue around here. We just saw another bridge strike. Uh, on a Dugga Lake Parkway, the CSX Railroad Bridge, six trucks hit that bridge so far this year. What can the state legislature do to try and stop trucks from hitting that infamous bridge? Absolutely. Well, as uh, someone who just started to represent the town of Salina but has lived here my entire life, you know, this is a major problem. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it can be, uh, you know, a joke. In some ways, this is not a joke. Right. People have died there. Right. Mm -hmm. People just were injured. And there's no simple solution. Yeah. You know, the bridge has been there for 100 years. Mm -hmm. The road's been there for about 100. And um, But our, our office is actively engaged on it. And actually, we're in the process of developing bills related to a few different things, including notification. Uh, but people are, are frustrated, and they should be. I have to go back to say this. Let's remember. There are signs there. True. Uh, we, uh, it it is a bridge that's lower than, than others. I, uh, some of my staff members have driven together and gone down and counted the number coming mm -hmm. from each direction. Um, so the blame really falls on the individuals that are not paying attention. That being said, uh, we've got to take action. We're going to continue to, and I'm engaged in my offices with the DOT with town supervisor Nick Perro. We've had multiple conversations mm -hmm. about this uh, and and others. Um, and uh, we gotta we gotta do what we can to keep people safe. And will it go beyond the signage though? Because well, we just the, talked to a truck driver who said the signs don't work. Yes, that's the that's the creative piece there. I've actually had a, a company in my office where we're just discussing, you know, digital technology mm. which produces uh, uh, you know, images which would discourage individuals from continuing. Also, you hear stories, and it's in the media, about uh, about GPS technology, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. not all of that is perfect, so the potential to make sure that it's required when certain vehicles are rented. Sometimes these are vehicles mm -hmm. going in and out of Amazon. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're rented by the general public. Uh, either way, we got to work on it. It's necessary. We don't want anyone hurt there. And we just saw the other day that we have to be smart about it too, because when mm -hmm. someone does realize that they're going to strike that bridge and starts to turn, 
accidents happen then yes. as well. Yeah, we yeah. saw yeah. that, okay. absolutely. Well, it's good to hear some um, some progress being made there, so make sure you keep us up to speed. Uh, Senator, there's a million other things we'd like to ask you about. Um, we're told that we're getting the wrap sign here, so we're going to have you back again Great. soon. I have so. that effect sometimes, uh, so okay. I understand. Yes, that's all right. Okay. Thank you, sir. We appreciate the time for thank sure. Thank you. Senator John Mannion, thank you. We have more local news coming your way tonight at 6 